Hello guys, I'm Yannick Reddy and welcome to my channel HVI Tutorials. In this video, I'll explain about shortcuts in extent reports. So we all know what exactly a shortcut is, right? So if you want to perform any series of actions to achieve something, and if you want to reduce those number of actions into a single action, and if you want to perform that single action also from the keyboard, then we are going to use one command called shortcut, right? So you can actually have different different shortcuts for different operations. So this is going to increase the productivity for us, correct? So even in our operating systems also, we have a lot of shortcuts. For example, if you want to copy, what you will do, you will press Ctrl C. If you want to paste, you will press Ctrl V, right? So in the similar way, even in the extent reports also, if you want to perform some operations, you have the shortcuts guys. So these shortcuts will help you in increasing the productivity, fine? So first let me go to the Chrome. So this is the extent reports, right? So without shortcuts, if you want to perform any operation, how you are going to do that? So what are the operations you generally perform inside this? So basically you can just filter your test cases, right? So you want to filter your test cases based on the pass or fail status. So how many actions are involved here? Let's see. So you need to first click on this button and then you need to select pass, right? And again, if you want to see the failed test cases, again, click on this button and click on the fail. So two actions are involved, right? So again, if you want to clear the test cases based on the status filter, then you need to click on this and again, click on clear. So you are performing two operations here, correct? But instead of that, what if you can perform any one single operation by using the shortcut? It is going to always improve your productivity, right? Instead of going to this one and clicking on this one, you don't have to do that also. You don't even touch your mouse at all. You can directly perform the operations from the keyboard. So that is going to help you a lot, right? So these are the operations basically we perform like filtering your test cases based on the status or filtering your test cases based on the author name or category or device, or maybe you can just jump into any of the tabs or views that is present here. So if you want to directly jump into the dashboard, how you are going to do that. And if you want to jump into the exceptions, how you are going to do that. And if you want to change the theme of this one, how you are going to do that. So all these things, we have a shortcut guys. So I'll show you all the shortcuts here. So these are the available shortcuts in the extent reports. Probably you can take a screenshot or you can write down somewhere guys. So I will show you some of the shortcuts here and you can practice the remaining shortcuts probably. So if you press P, you can see the past test cases only. So you are in this report, right? You just press P. That's it. Your past test cases will be displayed. And if you press F, only your failed test cases will be displayed. And if you press escape, it will clear the status for you. So you no need to go and click on this one and select it. Just press P for pass and press F for fail and press escape for clearing. And if you want to change the theme, then you need to press L. So when you press L, it will change the theme. So if you are in the standard theme, it will change to dark theme. And if you are in the dark theme, it will change to standard theme. Fine. And also, if you want to see the only skip test cases, you can press S. If you want to see the warning test cases, you can press W. But here I don't have any skip and warning test cases. So I'm not showing those things. But in your case, you can just see that. And then yellow also we have seen. And if you want to jump to any tab directly. So these are the shortcuts guys. If you press T, it will jump into test tab. And if you press C, it will jump into category tab. And if you press D, it will jump into dashboard. So let's see. Now we are in test, right? So I'm pressing D here. You see, I jumped into the dashboard. So if I press T, I'll go into the test tab, right? And if I press X, I'll go to the exception tab. Like this, there are some shortcuts here. So you can apply all these shortcuts to increase your productivity, guys. Fine. So you can take a screenshot of this slide or you can note down all these shortcuts and practice. So that is for this video, guys. I hope you like this video. If you like the video, please hit the like button and also share this video with your friends. If you have any doubts, please let me know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.